Do you have a finished basement that doesn't get any natural light? You could install an egress window, but that's a lot of work and a lot of expense. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna transform this basement by making a couple of faux windows using large LED light panels. Let me show you how to do it. So this is our LED panel, and we're gonna cut strips of MDF just to make a window frame for this, and then we'll mount that whole thing to the wall. And what's really gonna sell this, since you can't see out the window, we're gonna hang a blind in front of it, so all you get is the light coming in. Determine the frame size needed for your light panel, then cut the front and back frame pieces. We chose to make a four inch wide frame for our LED panel. Assemble the front frame using glue and pocket screws. Cut rabbits on the back inner edges of the back frame. These rabbits should be deep enough to allow the LED panel to sit flush with the back side of the back frame. For my LED panel, the rabbits are about 3 8 inch by 3 8 inch. Attach the back frame to the back of the front frame with glue and finish nails. If the top and bottom of your window frame will be visible, glue filler strips in the gaps at the top and bottom created by the rabbits. Corner trim is typical for windows. Because our window frame is painted, I needed trim only on the face of the frame, so I used pine screen molding. Attach the trim with brad nails and wood glue. Putty the holes and sand off the excess when the putty is dry. Sand the entire frame with 150 grit sandpaper, easing any sharp edges. After sanding, prime and paint the frame. Lay a light bead of silicone in the rabbit and set the LED panel into the rabbit. You can skip this step if your panel is snug in the rabbit and won't tip out while you're installing the window. So we've marked out where we're gonna hang our windows and where the studs are, and the next thing I have to do is cut out a hole here to accept the light panel's wiring box. And then I'm gonna run power from this outlet up to the panels. And make sure that you turn off power at the breaker before you do any electrical work. Hook up the conductors in the cable to their corresponding terminals on the LED panel. Secure the cable to the wiring box with a cable clamp. So we got this panel wired up. Now I'm going to lift it up into position and fasten it to the studs with some trim head screws. Fill the screw holes with wood putty or spackling. When the putty is dry, sand it flush and give the entire window a final coat of paint. To complete the illusion, hang blinds inside the window frame. We found that having the blinds just slightly open really sells the look of daylight coming in. So we've got our windows installed and to be perfectly honest, I was a little skeptical about how good this the illusion was going to be once they were actually installed, but I'm happily, very happily surprised. Um, I can turn them on and off with the uh, remote control. I could also use this uh, switch, which is essentially a remote control that mounts in a junction box, because there's batteries in the back, you don't have to wire it. And using the remote, I can adjust the color temperature as well as the brightness. So this is a pretty cool project. For more projects like this one, visit us at FamilyHandyMan.com.